So hey everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're new, hello, welcome. I'm Jack but when I'm in drag I go by Luna Rose because I'm the flower that blooms at night and as you can read from the title of today's video we're going to be doing a debut and review of my new hip pads. Yes, I did manage to shatter my phone. The hip pads I purchased I bought from eBay and they were the 1 inch Astro Beauty hip pads sold by Planet Pepper NYC. I got them in the size small and in the colour Light Natural and they retailed for £81 with £35 postage. I did also have a £40 import duty tax thing so there was around £150 in total and they took around three weeks to get to me so um, let's show you what they look like and let's try them on. And then this is what they look like. They look like pretty unassuming for like the high price tag but I've tried to make hip pads myself and it's always gone horribly wrong and a major thing that I liked about these is that they came in like a pair of shorts so essentially you just hoist them up and um that's your pad scroll. Obviously you're gonna have to wear quite a few pairs of tights to smooth these out like you would with any padding but um yeah, I just thought it was really efficient. I'm gonna swap into like full body view and I'm gonna try them on and show you like befores and afters of my costume and then we will come back and discuss it. Okay, so this is what this dress looks like with just my straight up and down boy body. I'm not wearing any padding or anything. The only thing I have on underneath is just my tucking gaff that I got from Give Face Cosmetics that also kind of helps hold in your stomach and everything. So um, it's a lifesaver. From here, I just pop these shorts on. And as you can see, there is kind of a starker divide between the top part of the padding and kind of my natural boy body. It also would help if I did go in with like a corset and really cinching my waist to make my hips look like they pop out a lot more. But um... Yeah, this is what the pads look like kind of on with no pairs of tights. I am just going to throw on like six different pairs of tights just to make it look a little bit more seamless. And then this is how it's looking kind of with all the pairs of tights on. It does kind of smooth out the top area and kind of make it just look a little bit more like natural curves. It does also squash down the pads a little bit so I'm not getting quite as much kind of volume to the side of me. So bear that in mind if you are wearing more pairs of tights it will obviously squish down the pads and then this is what it looks like with the dress back on I did just add a waist belt just to cinch it in at that central point and um yeah I think it looks good you can see there is quite a big difference between the before and after so back to the review Astro Beauty hip pads really did help me create that more feminine illusion. I do feel the price tag is a little bit high for like what they are. However, I have tried to make my own hip pads before and um, it's never been successful. So I think this is a really good starting point for like beginner queens. And the fact that they're in shorts is such like an easy and like efficient way to pad. I do feel like you need to wear quite a few pairs of tights to hide the seams of them. But I think it's kind of one of them assumed things that if you are padding, you're going to be wearing a lot of pairs of tights. So... Overall, I would say the Astro Booty hip pads are 100% unicorn vanity approved. You're not going to see them like every single time I do drag. However, I think it's a really good way for me to create a little bit more of a silhouette, a little bit more of an hourglass illusion, and um, I am so here for my new drag body. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. So yeah, that completes my debut and review of my new Astro Beauty hip pads. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you think of my new silhouette. And don't forget to subscribe to a bitch. There should be one new video every single Monday, 8pm at Greenwich Mean Time. But um, make sure that bell's hit because there's bound to be bonus days. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.